Hi guys, so back in the 80s I used to play this. This is the Game & Watch multi-screen version of Donkey Kong. Now if you wanted to play Donkey Kong your choices were the arcade and if you had a lot of money and your parents bought you a console, mainly the ColecoVision console, you could play it on there. Or Coleco did a tabletop version which you could play Donkey Kong as well. Nintendo had a bit of a niche market with these Game & Watches. I was super excited to see this on eBay so I snapped it up, brought it home and today we're going to unbox it and just see exactly what we've got inside. So as I said, I actually did acquire this from eBay. One thing that also appealed to me was that it actually had the original price on. And if you go on Google, that store is still around. I was actually amazed about that. So this is the front of the box, the side of the box. So it's a DK52. And it's in pretty, pretty damn good condition, to be honest with you. Uh, there you go. I do recall some versions of this box having um, other models available uh, for the Game & Watch, but that's not the case on here. So, yeah, pretty damn good packaging. Let's just open it up. So let's see if there's anything else. No, there's nothing else there at the moment. And this is the styrofoam that came in here. This compartment, I actually believe, were the original Nint batteries that Nintendo supplied. We'll get to the game and watch in a minute. So styrofoam is quite good. Obviously, you would push it out, not do what I've just done. Now, this here, these are baby stickers. So basically, the battery compartment on the back uh, was quite easy to take off. Also, very, very easy to lose. Um, so to prevent children from opening the cover, place the seal over the battery cover to prevent babies from re removing and eating the batteries, which obviously was, must have been a problem for somebody at some point in their lives, but uh, it wasn't actually a problem for me. So I didn't have that issue at all. Game & Watch instructions. Again, pretty, pretty good condition. So you've got the contents, what the screen is, so it opens up. Uh, how to insert the batteries, set alarm, because this was a game and watch. So essentially you put the batteries in, you kept them in there forever until the, the thing died. And I seem to remember my game and watch lasting well over a year. Gives you instructions on how to play the game. So your Mario, get, it, get to Donkey Kong. Um, now those who grew up with Game Boys will obviously know this. We'll get on to that a little bit later. But uh, that's just a little bit of nostalgia because obviously the Game & Watch had that four-way directional pad and obviously they're on the Game & Watch. So you had two game modes, Game A, Game B. It tells you how to control Mario, some of the actions and what you need to do, which I'll go through to. We'll try and actually set one of the games up. So very, very good instructions. And obviously we've got here the warning uh, don't obviously take it apart, which we obviously wouldn't do, and caution about batteries. As I said, um, there's no batteries in this one here, so this is the serial number, this is your battery compartment. Again, it looks all nice and clean, no, no dramas at all. This occasionally got scratched. I'll be honest with you, when I was at home, my ver version did get scratched, and that's what it looks like. So. Those who grew up with the Game Boy, okay, this is where your direction pad originated from. So it was on a Game & Watch. You've got your Game A, Game B, and the time. So I think the first thing to do is get the batteries in. Luckily, I do have some spares. The battery cover, absolutely essential that you have the battery cover um, because they, they are quite easy to remove sticker would probably help and the first thing you do is when you turn it on you actually see all the graphics on the characters so all their actions including the Donkey Kong as well so you from here you could set the time game A game B you can also set an alarm and you can also reset it as well so let's try game A shall we Let's go for game A. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Now, the platform's here. You can't jump up. But obviously, anywhere with a gap, you can. 
things about memories. Obviously, it's not exactly like the arcade, but it was the closest thing that you could get. And certainly for me, because as I said, um, I was certainly not super rich when I was growing up. I mean, this was about £16 according to the uh, little form, was just the, uh, the little sticker, the price sticker. So use the action button to get him up there. No. And then what you're meant to do is jump somehow. So just use the jump option. Wait for that train. Right. Do that again. Oh, got hit. Got hit. So go out to the bottom. Try again. This is my first go, by the way. So uh, do do give me a bit of a break, won't you, please? No hammer. So obviously not dead on arcade perfect, but um, it it was the closest thing you could get. There we go. Just wait for this. Oh, missed it. Damn it! I pressed the jump button too quickly. Jump up. I'm sure, we'll get there. Let's wait for the barrel. There we go. Up. Oh, this brings back so many memories. Try again. Jump, there we go. So you jump, and then you remove a lock, and then it takes you back to the beginning. So you go back up. So lever. And again, Mario chucks the, butt uh, the barrels down. It does get faster as you progress in the game. So do take that in mind and also game B exactly the same game mode but it is a lot more hectic okay, let's get that train there we are got it so we've done that as well so perfect let me do this again see if we can destroy Donkey Kong got two more to do we can do it Simon it said more, as you can now see, more and more barrels are coming down. Hopefully this is all in focus for you. I do apologise if not. I was trying to think of the best way of trying to play this and demonstrate the game to you. No, I can't go up there yet. I'll get rid of that barrel. Oops. Ah, sugar. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, I never completed it, I'm afraid. But I've got two, so for a first try, that's not too bad. Um, closes up like this and as I said it has got an alarm so once you set your time you set your alarm and it just kept going for months and months and months in fact I seem to remember it went on for a good year or so the one thing you do need to be aware of as well is obviously batteries do tend to leak so don't store it in uh, one location and then forget about it so if you are going to put it away then take the batteries cut it out otherwise this is in pretty damn good condition so i actually quite like this so um i wanted to share this nostalgia with you because it's quite nice going back to the items that i originally grew up and to see one boxed is quite a bit of a rare find for me so i was very very pleased to get this and that's what i really wanted to share with you so if you love the video please give it a thumbs up and any feedback you've got please put in the comment section below especially if you did own one of these or any type of game and watch because i would like to start maybe collecting these uh feel free to subscribe if you want to see uh, more content like this on my channel and as always i will see you on the very next video